This is Flax, the big mean flounder that randomly started bullying Spongebob. The big mean flounder that gained control over his dad. But what if I told you that Flax is not just a bully but a stalker or even worse. Somebody in the TV show is secretly hiring Flax to kill Spongebob. This theory is about to change the way you think about Spongebob Squarepants. This is the Flax Flounder Theory. If you think Spongebob is a weird TV show, you're not alone. This is one of the only TV shows that hides serious topics and gives small hints that lead to the truth of how crazy Spongebob Squarepants is. It's like a cheese pizza with pepperoni underneath. You will never know what it is without taking that first bite. But I'm determined to use all the hints to find the thread to connect the theory. Now let's get on to this. Flats the Flounder is a light green, unusual looking fish that attended Mrs. Puff's boating school in the episode The Bully. SpongeBob introduces himself to Flats, who responds with SpongeBob, I'm gonna kick your butt. SpongeBob, I'm gonna kick your butt. SpongeBob takes this as a joke until Flats literally rips his chest hair off to show that he means it. But why would he bully Spongebob for no reason? What if I told you that Flats joined the boating school just to bully Spongebob? In this exact episode, we see something incredible. Flats is driving a garbage truck. Why would someone who knows how to drive go to boating school? Because he doesn't even need a license. Why is Flats in boating school if he doesn't need a driver's license? I believe that Flats came here for revenge. But there is no way this is gonna make sense. Spongebob never harmed anyone in Bikini Bottom. Holy crap. In season 1, Sandy's rocket proves Flats' revenge. Spongebob and Patrick were going alien hunting thinking Bikini Bottom was a different planet. Lo and behold, who we see? Flats the Flounder. Spongebob shot Flats with the alien gun and abducted him. And when you look carefully at the end of the episode, we see the rocket trapped on the moon. Spongebob left Flats on the moon. SpongeBob! We aliens would like, like a word with you. This probably triggered Flats to run after SpongeBob. He must have sworn to take revenge on him and make him pay the debt. But how did Flats know so much about SpongeBob? Like where he lives and learns at? There must be somebody helping Flats get closer and closer to his prey. Back to the same episode, The Bully, Spongebob walks around the halls of Mrs. Puff's boating school and out of the blue, the phone rings and to our surprise, guess who picked up the phone? Hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery. Patrick? Is that you? Yeah, hey Mario. Patrick Star. Patrick calls the boating school and mistakes it as a pizza store called Pizza Castle. In the whole TV show, we have never heard of a pizza store called Pizza Castle. Maybe because it does not exist, and it's a lie made up to fool Spongebob. But how the heck did he accidentally dial the boating school telephone at the exact same time Spongebob passed by? Maybe because Flats is stalking Spongebob. Patrick then says he bumped into a community college buddy named Flats. But remember, Patrick doesn't seem like the type of people to be smart enough to enter a college, so this is obviously a fake statement. No, they're not closed. Oh, I'm sorry, Spongebob. I was just talking to my old community college buddy, Flats. He also mentions he met him in the soda shop. I bumped into him at the soda store. Isn't that funny? What? What is a soda shop? Again with the lies. There is no such thing as a soda shop, which means Patrick probably bumped into Flats in the episode Sandy's Rocket. He offered him a job to kill Spongebob. Flats had a very evil smirk on his face, which proves that he intended this to happen. But if Flats was at Patrick's home, who was spying on him? Well, who hates Spongebob just as much as Squidward? Who is having nightmares and suffering from PTSD just because of Spongebob? Who teaches Spongebob and can't control him? Mrs. Puff. She seems like the type of person to hate Spongebob. I'm thinking that Mrs. Puff was part of this mastermind plan and partnered with Flats and Patrick to spy on Spongebob. 
And if you look at the chalkboard where Flats was drawing something, he clearly drew Spongebob getting beaten up by him and Mrs. Puff didn't even notice it. What the hell? Why wouldn't Mrs. Puff notice him wanting to beat him up on the chalkboard? She is either blind or she's trying to kill Spongebob. Please draw for us a diagram of a basic four-way intersection. My, how very creative. In the episode New Student Starfish, she apparently had an x-ray chalkboard where she can see through. Good job, boys! I saw the whole thing from behind my one-way chalkboard, and I couldn't be happier with your teamwork. Mrs. Puff carries technology to spy on SpongeBob. When SpongeBob told Mrs. Puff about Flats being a bully, she told Flats and used his name. SpongeBob, you can tell me anything. But only if you promise to keep it between us. Of course. I knew I could count on you. SpongeBob, I talked to Flats for you. I used your name. Mrs. Puff, you excuse of a boating school teacher. You just did this to get SpongeBob's butt kicked and you know it. Shame on you, Mrs. Puff. I hope Mr. Krabs rejects you. She wants to get rid of SpongeBob so she can stop having PTSD and nightmares of dealing with an all-time failure. She sounds enthusiastic to end SpongeBob's life. In a lot of episodes, we have seen Mrs. Puff trying to murder Spongebob, whereas she could just fire him and end this whole thing. But she is forced to teach him, and the way to get out is to end his life. If you're wondering why Patrick wants to end Spongebob, then look no further, let me explain. You may think that they're the greatest friends, but you're absolutely wrong. The only reason Patrick likes Spongebob is because of his food and money. You all know that Patrick does nothing but sleep all day and wonder how he's surviving. Spongebob is funding for his bills, food, and home. Otherwise, he would go homeless. I think Patrick wants to end Spongebob's life because he wants to inherit everything that Spongebob owns so he never has to work a day in his life. So now we all know that Patrick, Flats, and Mrs. Puff are planning the destruction of Spongebob. But a lot of you guys think Flats is still joking and if you do think that, then take a look at this clip. Are you Flats' dad? Why, yes I am. He wants to kick my butt. Dad, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, son. What did I tell you about talking to strangers? Now he's gonna kick my butt! SpongeBob goes to complain to Flats' dad, and when Flats appeared, his dad freaks out and tells us that now he's gonna kick my butt. Why on earth is Flats' dad scared of his son? Flats is a manipulative figure that will not even spare his own dad at any cost. He seems like a dictator and abuses his strength and may even kill his father after this moment. And that's the Flats flounder theory. This theory took a lot of effort, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We finally revealed the truth of Flats. Thankfully, Spongebob is a sponge and absorbed the punches to save himself. Gary, I'm absorbing his blows like I was made of some kind of spongy material. With that being said, please check out my other theories where I uncovered the meaning behind a character and an episode. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to never miss another theory.